Hi, so in this quick tutorial, I want to show you about Ugohost DNS setting. So how you can change your domain name server. I did a tutorial on how you how you can um, purchase a domain name, a .com .ng domain name from Ugohost and connect it with your Namecheap account or your Namecheap web hosting. But this time, I'm going to show you how you can change your DNS server in Ugohost. Now, we're going to make this as quick as possible. Also, other helpful um, tutorial that um, actually deal with domain name, um, web hosting, Everything about Google Host, I have um, tutorials on them and they are all in the description of this video or you can go to my playlist, just go to my um, channel playlist and just check on ugohost.com tutorial. So you're going to see everything you need to know about Google Host. So now let's go back to Google Host. As you come to Google Host, after purchasing your domain name, and okay, if you purchase your domain name for Google Host, currently this is my working, well, let's say working here, working domain or working Google host account. I have about two web hosting. I have about eight domain. Now I'm going to show you how you could just change your um, DNS at any time. So you're going to after purchasing your domain, you're going to click on the domain. You're going to click on the domain. After you click on the domain name, it's going to allow it to load. So, so I'm going to be doing the review about Google host. My experience with them, how they are. If you should purchase a domain name with Google host or not. So please, if you have not subscribed to watch that video, just hit on the subscribe button. Now let's assume you want to change, this is the domain you just purchased, you want to change the, web, the DNS of this domain. Now, you just come here and click on manage domain or manage name server, it's still the same thing. So I should click on manage name server. Now one thing you should also know is that, um, please one thing you should know is that um, Google host does sometimes does not give you SSL and I actually did a video of that of how you could change SSL for how you could upload update or fix SSL for your Google host name server so please if you if you are uh, your domain name does not have um, SSL you can watch that video now going back to this tutorial now this domain name edoma.com.ng as you can see to change your domain name server now at default your domain name server will be here yeah, use default name server i'm not going to change this because it's already a this is a working website it's a marketplace website so now once you log in you click on use custom name server see this dns1 name hosting name cheap hosting.com you're going to touch tap it you're going to uh, the name server you want to use for this i don't know how to explain this guys um let me explain this in a simple term that you can understand so now a, dom a domain name server or dns or name server it's simply the connection of the domain to the web host so if the name server is connected to google host which is the use default name server then it cannot appear on another website or another web host now if you come to this place and change like as you can see this now i have changed this to google host now uh, to namecheap sorry i've changed this to namecheap now if you come here and type in the name server of another web hosting they type in the the dns or another web hosting you put it at name server one name server two then you save this this um domain name when you go to the other web host and add this as an add-on domain it's going to show up there and it's not going to show up on your google host anymore so your file will not be assessed on that other web host i hope i'm am making sense guys i hope you are understanding it so for this one now uh, instead of me leaving it as use default name server i actually changed the name server to namecheap namecheap name server so i purchased the web host of namecheap and then convert this name server to that so it is very 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 easy guys all you just have to do is to copy the name server so for example you are working with um let's assume you are doing something on um um, let's say you just use Bluehost. You can just go to Google and type in Bluehost name server. As you click on Bluehost name server, and you're gonna see it around here. Okay, this is it name server. You just click on it and then you copy it, and then you go to your own name server. You paste them in there, and then you go to your Bluehost and load load this uh, domain name on your Bluehost shared hosting account so guys it is that easy that is your domain um changing or using custom name server on google host you can always change this at any time if you find out that the um name server you are using you simply don't like it, you want to go back to google host what you just have to do is to come here click on use default name server and wow you are done with that so thanks for watching this video guys this i said it's going to be a quick one
so this is it and thanks for watching so please don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so i'll see you on my next video it's gonna be a video that's gonna pop up on your screen it's gonna be about ghosts if you need it so please just watch it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so thanks for watching guys have a nice day